Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a very special video for me because I'm celebrating my silver play button from YouTube. I'm so, so, so excited. Thank you guys so much for this. This is amazing. I'm really, really, really excited. I've been part of the YouTube community for a while now, but I've been really active for, I'd say about two years now. YouTube has become a platform that I really, really love. It inspires me. I love creating these videos and I love the educational factor of it all. So in celebration, I'm going to be creating this beautiful silver inspired look. Of course, silver play button. We have to do a silver inspired look. This is perfect for the holidays. It's perfect for New Year's. So I thought it came at a perfect time, actually. <laughs> It couldn't have been a better time. And I thought it would only be fitting if I did it on one of my close friends and models that are regularly on my channel, Lana. And I know you guys love Lana as well. So what I love about this video is that we actually get to talk throughout the video. You get to know a bit more about our friendship and it's just, it's just really fun. And we do get to do this at the YouTube space, which is incredible in Dubai which is where I'm based, by the way. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'd love for you guys to be subscribers and for you to see more of my content and videos. And of course, leave me a comment if you like this video and a thumbs up, and I will see you guys very soon at the space. <laughs> Calm down there, sister. Okay, so we're gonna be starting off with moisturizer because Lana's skin is dry, and this is the Sisley Black Rose Skin Infusion Cream. We I love, love roses. We love roses. So I'm gonna take a generous amount because I'm gonna rub that down the neck as well. Oops, a bit on the hair. <laughs> I'm just gonna massage that into the skin. It smells so good. Mm. This is my favorite um, line that they have. Mm. Black. They have a mask too. It's very, very nice. It's like a cream mask. Is it also rose? Black rose, yeah. Yes. I need to try that. I can't find mine actually. I need to look for it. All right, so for eye cream, I'm taking a very basic eye cream, which is really great for makeup actually. This is the MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. I'm just gonna put a thin layer under her eyes. This isn't greasy. It's not, um, I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's really great for makeup. It's made for makeup. Yeah, it's made for makeup. It's by MAC. All right, so for foundation, I'm taking one of my favorite foundations. This is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation in 3WO, which is warm olive. I love this one. It's so good. Yeah, and like the tiniest bit is good. Yeah, be. and yeah, like pudding. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to take that with a Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. It's going to make sure it's evenly coated. I like to start on the outside of the face. Just gonna buff that into the skin. It also smells nice. Oh yeah. I really, I really like it. Maybe it's your brush. I thought it just smelled like makeup. No, no, it smells nice. Yeah, it does. From what yeah. I know, yeah. I usually like to do lip balm after because I don't like um, the foundation rubbing in with the lip balm because I try to get around as many corners and areas as I can with the foundation. I like to concentrate the foundation just in the center of the forehead. I don't, I don't like to put a lot on because that's where you would usually crease if you're moving and if you're smiling and laughing. So just whatever is left, I blend it to the edges of the forehead and the hairline. All right, so I'm happy with the level of coverage now because I'm gonna add concealer and cream contour and bronzing. So I'll do the bronzing first and then I'll add concealer. For cream bronzing and contouring, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks in the color Suede, and this is like a yellow toned brown, so it's quite warm. And I'm just gonna take that on a MAC 109S brush, warm it up on the brush. It's gonna buff it into the cheeks and cheekbones. Looks very warm now, but I'm gonna blend it in. I'm just gonna blend the edges with my foundation brush again. A bit around the forehead, 
and down the bridge of the nose just a bit to warm things up. Next, because I want a bit more of a contour color, this was more of a warming up color, I'm taking the Mocha Match 6 and putting that just on the tip of the nose, across, and then I'm gonna put it in the hollow, just a bit in the hollow. Something I learned from you is that you put it way higher than like... Yeah, I don't like to put it low. Yeah, people normally put it below the bone no. and it gets so messy. Yeah, because as you're blending, it's exactly. gonna diffuse Exactly, it's gonna melt anyway. down and yeah, melt down. Melt down. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> gonna blend that in with the bronzer shade and I'm gonna cover what I need to cover after this step I'm not gonna bother now because I'm still in the blending process and we haven't done concealer yet all right so for concealer I'm taking the max studio fix 24 hour smooth wear concealer in NC 35 I'm gonna put that underneath her eyes around the nose and I'm just gonna take it at the back of my hand and use a beauty blender in areas where I would need it but for now I'm just gonna blend this and this is a damp beauty blender love this concealer I like to bring it high up into the temples a bit to create that nice lift and then when we do blush after that's gonna blend in the, this very light part with the bronzy contour part. So there's not going to be that distinct difference. Whatever is left just on the jawline to clean up that contour a bit. Same on the other eye. All right, so this is super bright right now, but we're going to tie it in with blush, but I'm loving it for this look. Okay, so now while she's still in the cream... Um, I'm foundation cooking. yeah she's still cooking <laughs> we're gonna use a cream highlight this is one i used on her in one of the first videos we did i love it i've only used it on her actually because we're going for like a silvery look <laughs> this isn't too silver it's not too like pink i'm warming it up at the back of my hand maybe a bit too much turn i'm gonna put this on the high points and by the way lana doesn't really like to wear powder at all it's not me it's my skin yeah it's her skin type it just doesn't react well and it cracks. Yeah. Every time I'm shooting with someone else, they always go like, no, honey, don't mm. worry. And mm -hmm. when they do, it's a mess. Yeah, trust me, we've tried. Yeah. We've tried so many like, times. Ooh, a big chunk came out. Ooh. I think I like, warmed it up way too much. Okay. I'm going to blend this in. Um, shall I blend it in with the... No, with the one I use for bronzing a bit. So that it melts in nicely. I'm going to set it with another highlighter later on. Okay, so to pinpoint and conceal around the face, I'm taking the Laura Mercy Secret Camouflage Concealer in SC4. And it is a creamy formula, but it's very uh, concentrated. So I'm going to mix the two colors. You have like a warmer color and a more yellowy color. I'm going to create like a neutral shade. I'm just going to dot that on the areas I want to cover. I'm going to push the Beauty Blender in to blend it. And by the way, I'm using a Zoeva 233 Cream Shader. For lip balm, I'm going to take the Lucas Pawpaw Ointment. I use this all the time. I love it. Oops. <laughs> What finger are you using? I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> she like gave me her thumb. I'm like, oh, what am I going to do with that? <laughs> By the way, I really like this, the primer. Eh, it's good. No, I, I like use it, it on clients this weekend. Oh, yeah? It's really good. I like it. It's like, eh, it's everything clings. sticks. Yeah, yeah everything yeah. sticks. For eye primer, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Invisi, Invisi Pink. No, that's a color. Amplifying eye base. So basically, it's our eye primer. Put a bit on the eyes. So for eyeshadow, I'm taking the Viseart. This is the Neutral Matte Palette. It's one of my favorites. My other favorite all matte palette is the MAC one, the Semi Sweet Times 9. But this is amazing quality. It's actually one of my top, top, top favorite eyeshadows. And I'm taking this Peachy Neutral Shade. And I'm going to use that in the crease. 
And this is a Ray Morris brush number seven. Super soft. Because I'm gonna be using a lot of silvers, I want quite a warm crease to tie it in together. But I'm gonna obviously add in those grays and those cool tones as well. And I wanna pull out that crease color. I got a comment saying that you don't smile a lot. Oh. And just I'm like, because she has braces and she just... Two months, two yeah. months time. <laughs> and I'll smile comfortably. Give her time. Yeah, just give me time. Mm -hmm. So I put that all over the crease. Nothing neat, you just wanna like really diffuse the color. Okay, then to deepen the crease, I'm gonna take this taupey gray color and mixing it in with this warmer brown. Just to create color in between. Gonna mix that at the back of my hand. So you want something like pretty cool toned and I'm gonna deepen the outer corner with that and pulling it in the crease as we blend. So as you can see, this really pulls out the eye and we have a really nice shape combining the cool tones with the warm. And then I'm just gonna diffuse the edges with this medium peachy color. And now we can go in with our shimmers. I'm looking for like a metallic taupey color. So I'm taking this Dior Holiday Palette. This is called Five Colors Midnight Wish. And I'm gonna take this top color right here. It's like a beautiful taupe, shimmery taupe. And I'm gonna spray a bit of Fix Plus and use it wet. So I wet that shadow and I'm just gonna put it at the back of my hand to create like a paste. Not really a paste, but you know, to really melt it in. Look at that color, it's so beautiful. And then I'm gonna put that on the outer part of her lid because towards the front I want to do more of a silver and then I'm gonna stop that color in the crease where we did that darker shadow so I just want to make sure that crease is quite sharp so now that that's done I'm gonna be going in with more of an intense silver and for that of course we're gonna be using the Fenty Beauty diamond ball out highlighter just like this beautiful favorite thing about it is that every purchase goes to charity yeah that's really cool that's awesome so i'm gonna take it on this fenty beauty brush oh by the way the last brush i used was a dior 21 brush which is like a flat packer brush and this is kind of the same kind of a packer brush as well it is called the 200 eyeshadow brush i'm gonna spray a bit of fix plus on this as well And with that, I'm putting it on the inner part of the eye. And I'm gonna leave this part, the inner corner free for something else. I mean, it's fine if you go over it, actually. I'm gonna go a bit over it because I want that silver as a base. And as you get to the center, you just wanna tap it to blend the two parts together. Okay. Nice. Okay, so mimicking whatever I did on the top, on the lower lash line, I'm taking these two colors again. I'm just putting it tightly Over. on the lower lashes. This is a Sephora Pro Small Eyeshadow Brush, number 15. I love the Sephora brushes. Yeah, they're so soft. They're really, really good. They're really one of my favorites. And we're gonna cover that with that taupey shimmer from the Dior palette. So you wanna connect those colors together with that wing and pull it in. And now I'm just gonna take that same brush and back into that taupey color in the Dior palette. I'm gonna wet my brush again. Basically whatever I did on top, I'm gonna to do at the bottom. Let's get that nice pop of silvery shimmer. Okay, so I'm gonna add a brown wing, but I'm gonna add in black eyeshadow so to diffuse it a bit, but I just want a bit of brown peeking through. So I'm taking the NARS Mambo Velvet Liner. This is called Velvet Liner. Mambo Eyeliner from NARS. It's my favorite brown. It's gonna create a soft wing. I'm not really focusing on the outer shape here because it's gonna get covered. Close. So I just wanna trace along the lash line. That's gonna give us a nice contrast between the silver because the chocolate brown is like pretty warm. So as you can see, it adds that nice definition and depth. All right, now that I'm done with that chocolate brown, I'm gonna take the black and wing it out from the corner. So basically creating a wing in black. 
and just smudging it a bit into the brown. And I'm taking a MAC 228S brush. So from where I stopped, that's where I'm gonna connect the black. And winging out. So you get that nice gradient of really cool black into a warm brown. Okay, so now that I have the final shape ready, I'm just gonna go in again with the crease just to tie it in a bit because I see that I lost a bit of that definition in the crease. I'm concentrating it in the crease. I don't wanna blend that nice sharp line of silver that we did. And for mascara, I'm just gonna let Lana do her lashes with the NARS Climax Mascara. I'm going to be putting outer corner lashes and I'm using the Ardell medium black not free double flares they're individuals so yeah I'm just going to focus it on the outer corner so that should be enough all right so that's the level of intensity that I'm going for and now we're going to go in with a bit of blush for blush I have two options you're going to help me pick we have a pink and like a more neutral one mm. I feel like with silver, pink would look cool. Right? I was thinking pink too. Yeah. Shall we mix? Yeah. Oh. We always consult each other on looks. Yeah. Like all the looks that you see us do together, it's like 50%, yeah, 50 yeah, 50% me, 50% her. Yeah. This is the Laura Mercy Blush Color Infusion in Chai. So I'm going to take this first and putting that over the bronzer. That's what I love about working with you. Like, uh, I feel like it's a, it's between us. You know, it's not just a modeling thing. Collaboration. Doing, yeah. Yeah. Because nice. yeah. we've known each other for a while now. Mm. Went to university together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was. You were a freshman. I was a senior. Yeah, I was doing my first year, and he was literally doing his last semester. Like mm -hmm. that was his last class. Public speaking, that was a course we took. Now I'm gonna take Rosé. I don't know if it might be too much, but we're gonna see. I feel like Blend the pink it. would look cool with the silver. Yeah, I think so, because we're still gonna highlight. Blush is the number one thing that I can't get rid of you with love makeup. Blush, yeah. yeah. Like if I had to pick one thing, it has to be blush. What about you? Brows and concealer. Okay, so if we kick like, skin think... out of the question, it's brows. brows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I, yeah. For brows, I'm gonna try the Kat Von D Brow Struck Dimension Powder. What's interesting is you can't see it in the dark one, but they have shimmer in them, so they're not matte, and it's supposed to like add dimension. And I'm gonna take it with a new brush that she came out with as well, number 70. That's random for a brush to be like 70. It's seven. It's a seven, right? Yeah, it is. But it's a really, really fine, thin brush, which I really like. And I'm just gonna focus it on the tail of the brow, so the end. Because I want that to be quite sharp. I'm just flicking upwards. Just gonna fill in any small gaps. I'm not being like particularly very precise with it. Okay, so for a highlight, I'm gonna be trying this Fenty How Many Carats Diamond Balm, which is basically like a transparent glitter reflect. And it's kind of like a putty form. So it's kind of like a powdery cream. And I'm gonna use this with my fingers because I think that's the best way to use it. What I'm gonna do is just tap it on top of where we did that highlight. It's very glassy. It, yeah, it like catches the light, it looks very wet. Yeah. But here it's a bit, um, I don't know if you can, if it does it justice. So I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in the color Venus, which is a neutral nude. I mean, it, it has pink in it, but for the most part, it's like a neutral pink. I'm just going to be aligning her lips and filling them in. With Lana's lips, I like to overline them a bit. And this kind of matches the blush tones that we did. Now that her lips are aligned, I'm going to go in with a gloss to finish up and sparkle everything <laughs> even further. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to pop in a bit of the Fenty Stunna Lip Paint and Unbutton, which is the nude. I'm just going to put it in the center a bit. Just dabbing it on lightly. 
just gonna take some at the back of my hand and with the lip brush this is a Laura Mercier flat eyeliner <laughs> just in the center because when I put that gloss on it's going to give me even more dimension and more of like a 3D pout and tap it lightly and now I can go in with the gloss bomb this is in diamond milk which is like a clear shimmer again matching the highlight it smells so good I know I love the smell of these it's like watermelon kind mm -hmm. of it is yeah, right it is yeah Candy, watermelon candy. Mm, yeah. I love it. Mm. So that's a face done. I'm going to zoom out a bit so you can we can do the body shimmer part and then we'll zoom back in. Now, of course, I have to do the body trick with the 160 face and body brush. And again, the how many carats? What is this called again? Is this diamond bomb? Collarbones, shoulder blades, shoulders, down the arms. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy this silver play button look in celebration of my silver play button from YouTube. Yay! <laughs> And this is sort of mixing, again, cool tones with warm tones and making it more wearable. This is great for the holidays, for New Year's, for any time of the day, actually. And yeah, it was really fun for us to make. Yeah. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Finally, a talking video with me and Lana. Yeah. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And like, comment, so I know what you guys want to see next. And we'll see you very soon. Bye. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment if you do like it, leave me a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And click left or right to explore more of my videos. Bye.